Hi all my friends. Um, this is uh, another video in Idaho and there I was leaving um, Twin Falls and heading up towards um, Highway 30 to 84 to Boise. Okay and now along Highway 30 has a lot of um, cool things to see that I wanted to why I wanted to take that route. Now along the Highway 30 has uh, what they call the Thousand Springs Byway okay and um, so I have some spots of that area of the byway and then also um, which was kind of cool is there's this um, place called Hagerman Fossils Beds National Monument and so um, now the actual fossils are not um, there you know um, up the road you have to actually go into Hagerman Town and I kind of got up that road a little bit late so I didn't get to actually see whatever the display or whatever they had on that one but they do have these two overlooks that were kind of cool so one of them is where you can see the snake river so there's a snake river overlook and then as you go further up the road you go to the oregon trail overlook now that stretch of road as you go up has the um, uh, section of, of that route up there which has the um, route that the California Trail is from the immigrants that came out west. Um, so remember there are so many split off trails that they did depending on the location that they were going to the Oregon Trail, the California Trail. So a lot of I found out in that journey had um, you know the California Trail so that was kind of cool through Idaho. But anyway so um, and you can actually see from the overlook you'll see I pointed out that you can see the actual ruts that are still visible from that overlook so I thought that was really cool anyways anything about the Oregon Trail or the immigrant trail you know anything about that um, connecting the California Trail just anything about the immigrants going west really fascinates me of how they travel back in um, you know those days <laughs> because they didn't have cars and so it's just always just been extremely fascinating and their route and everything about that that journey that they did all right so i hope um you um enjoyed the videos and the clips that i have or the the uh, pictures and the clips oh and i'll show you milo real quickly okay all right there's my boy hanging out <laughs> And with Fluffy, he's doing uh, really well. Um, you know, we're doing good. Every day is a day um, getting better and better. So I am really believe in time he's going to be <laughs> doing really well. Um, yeah, he's his little feisty little self <laughs> most of the time. All right. Um, okay, so enjoy um, the journey of... Um, this part of uh, coming through Idaho and then uh, I'll see you all in the next video and I love you all and see you then. Well this is pretty much what it's been looking like in the Tri-Cities and uh, I mean Tri-Cities <laughs> that's in Oregon um, uh, Twin Falls and this whole um, outskirts suburb cities area nothing but farmland <laughs> just farm farm farmland wow but I'm on highway 30 west and this is the road and part of it has a little bit of history of the uh, California you know pioneer trail um, I don't know if the whole 30 is, but I saw a sign a while ago that said that. But um, yeah, it's just um, I'm taking the scenic route here, uh, making my way to Boise, and just thought I would capture this. Just um, I have seen so much farmland; it's just been crazy. <laughs> it's beautiful, though. a mountain straight ahead. I don't know if you can see it. Straight ahead of the road with a snow um, top on it. Stretching through here is 
going to start to go into what they call the Thousand Springs um, Byway. So, um, yeah, and hopefully it'll be real pretty on this stretch of 30 before I get to um, 80, back to 84. Um, so, we'll see. <laughs> it looked um, very pretty on the map, or these options of it. Some water coming down the cliff over there. Uh, yeah. I'm hoping it'll turn out to be a real pretty stretch of road here. There's the water coming down. Oh, looks like there's a little bit of water down there. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> drive for a couple more hours, see some things, and then I usually have to start thinking about where I'm going to plant myself for the night. Okay, this is um, Hagerman Fossil Beds National Monument, and it's off of Highway 30 going west before 84, and then there's a road. And then uh, this is where the um, part of the trail, the again the California uh, trail that the pioneers um, took going out west. And there's a stretch of road that I'll be going back on to another overlook. So this is quite a bit of history going on here. And then the Snake River runs through here at some point. <laughs> yeah, this is the um, oh, Snake River Overlook. So this is what the map is showing right here. So we're at the Overlook. And then the Snake River runs passing through through here. So that's kind of, it's just like a little inlet in here. And then it runs through that area. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, this section of the road um, goes from that uh, overlook that I, we just saw at the Snake River and goes up to this next one for three miles. And this is another section of the trail that they call the Immigrant Trail that took them to, to California, or they call it the California Trail. Yeah, so this has a lot of history. So here's a sign coming up right over here. There it is. So try to slow down. So they call it the Oregon Trail, original route. Okay, so, um, but then they, again, some went on to Oregon, some branched off to California. So this is a little bit of history right here on this road where they went through and pretty cool. I, and then uh, I can't wait to see up here at this next um, overlook or it's a trail head up here and see what it has to show us. But I think this is pretty cool. <laughs> I've always been fascinated with the Oregon Trail, especially I live in Oregon, and so it has a lot of history about the original pioneers, and then also the Lewis and Clark um, expedition trail that they took is a lot of history of that um, in through Oregon as well. But yeah, but so this is kind of cool. We'll see what happens when we get up near the top. Okay, so this is the Oregon Trail Overlook. Let's see what we can discover. Okay, I think I finally, I've been searching and searching, trying to figure out which was the Oregon Trail ruts they say are still visible. And I think it is that right there. You know, where they, because they had the wagon, so it would take two. Um, you know, two ruts for the wagon. I almost thought it was 
that right there, but that's too clean. I, I don't think it was, it's that, uh, you know, line right there. So at first I thought, and I said, no, nah, that doesn't make any sense. I know they had, you know, single horses. And so here is um, a picture of showing, you know, kind of what it would look like. Yeah, they would have horses and, you know, but there'd be wagons. So the wagons would have the two ruts. And they only said part of it is still visible, not like the whole section, you know, of their path. So I actually think that is it that's visible in this area. But anyways, this is what it looks like in the valley. And then there was an overlook right over there. So I'm going to go take a peek when I get back over there. And there's the van. Oh, and then, yeah, this is a very pretty valley, though, that they came through. And, yeah, that makes sense because they joined up, see, on that road. The road that I just went on, that three miles... The, it was three miles of the section that they actually uh, went on, of course, but they paved over it. So that makes sense that, I like puzzles, that, see, that goes right into the road, uh, and it goes to that Snake River Overlook, and that section right in there of the road was their path for three miles. Um, so they paved over it. So there it is. I think the mystery is solved. Well, how cool is that? <laughs> oh, you guys are seeing a little bit of history right there. All right, that was cool. <laughs> and then that's where I came from, that Snake River Overlook, right over there. This is so cool. I love uh, history, and like I said, I'm so fascinated with the Oregon Trail. I always have been. Right.